Hey, how is it going? In this tutorial, we are going to talk about Mocha and how to use it to write and run tests using JavaScript. Mocha is a JavaScript test framework running on Node.js and in the browser, making testing simple and fun. Mocha comes pre-bundled with two function calls. Describe used to group related test cases into a test suite and it used to define individual test keys with a test suite. Describe takes two arguments, a string that describes the test suite and a callback function that defines the test cases within the test suite. The purpose of describe is to provide a way to organize and structure tests into logical groups. This helps to make the tests more manageable and easier to understand, as well as making it easier to run specific sets of tests when needed. Overall, the describe function plays a critical role helping to ensure that tests are well organized, easy to understand and easy to maintain. It is used to define individual test cases with a test suite. It takes two arguments, a string that describes the specific behavior being tested and a callback function that contains the code that implements the test. The purpose of it function is to specify a single individual atomic test case. This helps to ensure that each test case is easy to understand and maintain and also make it easier to isolate bugs or issues that arise during testing. Hooks in Mocha are functions that run before or after tests. These can be used to set up test data, create test environments, or tear down resources after the tests have run, or other similar tasks. Mocha provides four types of hooks, before, before each, after, and after each. Before hook runs only one time before any tests in the test suite. Before each hook runs before each test in the suite. After hook runs only one time after all the tests in the suits are run. After each hook runs after each test in the test suit. With hooks, we can ensure that our tests are run in a consistent and predictable environment and that any resources created during the test are properly cleaned up afterwards. Let's dive in and see how this works in a simple demo example. Let's create a new project folder. Open a terminal. Initialize npm. and install Mocha dependency. Great! Once we have Mocha installed, we can start writing our tests. Let's open the project in a code editor. In my case, it will be Visual Studio Code. In the project folder, I will create a new file called test.js. In this file, I will write code examples for the functions that we talked about. Let's get it started with the describe function. The first argument will be the test suite name. The second argument is a callback 
that will contain all the tests and hooks. Save the file and to run this code we simply need to run the mocha command in our terminal like this. That's it! We've just written and run our first mocha tests and we can see the results and execution order in the terminal. This is just the tip of the iceberg because mocha provides many more features and options for testing our code. I encourage you to explore the mocha documentation to learn more. Thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Happy testing!